executed. Hey, thanks very much, and congratulations on the win, Alex. First of all, were the leg kicks something you had identified in advance that uh, he might be susceptible to? Uh, no, I kind of like felt him stepping kind of heavy, and uh, you know, I took the shot. I took a shot at it, and it kind of kept working. So, um, you know, my coach told me don't throw crazy, you know, naked kicks. Just touch first, and then throw the kicks, and we kind of kept going back to it. I seen him hurt, so I kind of just uh, you know I let him up. I know he's dangerous on the ground, so why not? It absolutely came out with uh, a huge win and a bit of history, and I'm not sure if you realize, but uh, this might be the first time we've had leg kick TKOs on back-to-back -back cards. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, I seen last week. I, I forget his name. Uh, he got it, so that's pretty cool, man. Hopefully that gives me a bonus. <laughs> Absolutely. And aside from the bonus, where do you think this leaves you in the division? Because the title is expected to be contested later this summer. A lot of people had Formiga as a, a potential title challenger. And now you've got three straight wins, albeit one was at 135. Um, I, I feel like I, I'm right in the mix. Uh, you know, the USC takes usually the top five, one of the guys from the top five to get a title shot. Um, so, I mean, I feel I'm right in the mix. Uh, I, I feel like Moreno got a split decision over him. I, fin I finished this guy that he got a split decision, so I feel that puts me above him. Uh, Pantoja's booked already, so, I mean, I feel like, I, you know, I'll be on Fight Island. I'm going to, you know, I'll go out there just to be the backup just in case. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter if I get, you know, get it that night or get it after, but uh, I'll be getting ready for that. All right, last one for me. I mean, who do you see, uh, you know, if all goes according to plan with the rematch between Joe and Figueredo, who do you see uh, winning that rematch? I, I just think uh, Figueroa hits uh, too hard. Uh, Joe's great. He's good everywhere, don't get me wrong. Uh, but from the first fight, I thought the ground was going to be the big advantage. And then uh, uh, Figueroa sh uh, surprised me with, with the jiu-jitsu. So, I mean, uh, I got Figueroa winning. You know, if Joe wins, I'll be cool because, you know, when I rematch him and I beat him, I'll be for the title. All right, well, congratulations on the win tonight again. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We'll go next to James Lynch with the score. Your line is. Congratulations, Alex. A really big win here tonight. Um, I, I wanted to know, you know, with Chito Vera, your teammate, you know, sort of losing that controversial fight a few weeks ago, how much was that on your mind to, you know, get one for the team and really sort of boost the morale? Um, it's kind of one of those things, man. Like, I, you know, I love my teammates and stuff, but you can't think about stuff like that, about what, you know, happened the last event, stuff like that. It's a whole new event, different judges, I think. Uh, you know, so I can't focus on that. It sucks that, you know, I feel like my 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 buddy got screwed, but I can't you can't put that in your head because then you're forcing the finish. Fair enough. Um, as far as the game plan, was was it to just go in there and chop his legs down, or was there some other plan and and you just sort of you know saw an opening and went for it? Uh, it was to stay on the feet, obviously. Uh, just kind of see where I was going. If we're in the clinch, we throw the knee and elbow. But um, the it just kind of the leg kind of just came through and. Uh, you know, it was my main weapon. And uh, last question for me. Um, you talked about potentially fighting for the title next. If that doesn't happen, would you ever, you know, consider fighting Brandon Moreno? I know you guys have trained together. Is that not an option? No, me and Brandon never trained together. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have, we've never trained together, me and Brandon. Uh, but I'm always down to fight. I don't turn down fights. If that's what they want, that's what they want to give me, then I'll take it. Enjoy the victory tonight. Thanks, brother. We'll go next to Louise Green with MMA Crazy. Your line is open. Hi, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, obviously a very dif different atmosphere for some people going into this week with it being at the apex in a smaller cage, but you've obviously had the experience from being on the Contender Series before and being in that smaller cage. How did you find the atmosphere tonight? And was it nice to be back in a smaller cage? Uh, yeah, it's always fun to be in the small cage, man. More action, more, you know, more activity. And it's not that small to the lighter guys, you know, usually the bigger guys think it's small. But um, I feel I felt good. It felt good being in that environment, you know, no distractions. You don't have to have the crowd behind you and stuff. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's definitely different. You know, I love being, having the crowd behind me, but it's also different when, they, when they're not there. You kind of can hear your coaches. You can hear the other person breathing and stuff. You can hear the punches land. So it's a different, different feeling. And you mentioned... Um that there were some tragedies that have happened uh, recently to some people close to you. How has it been dealing with that on the run-up to this fight? And does this, you know, make this victory any sweeter for you? Uh, yeah, uh, 
you know, 2020 has been like an up and down year for everybody, not just including me. And then, uh, you know, my one of my good train partners, his dad passed away, like ra- just crazy random. Uh, a, a lady that used to help a lot of people at the gym, she ended up passing away. And then one of my one of my old sponsors, one of my old friends, uh, his wife was in a crazy accident. And it just it's just sad, man, seeing the world the way it is right now. And, uh, you know, I dedicate this fight to them. And I'm happy. I, hopefully I can bring some, I mean, hope, hopefully I can bring some happiness to them just a little bit, you know, get their mind off of that. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just crazy out there right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations with the win tonight. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Alex. You are all set. Thanks, guys.